for the next topic will be biosynthesis of cinnamic acid and its derivatives biosynthesis of cinnamic acid and its derivatives so this uh, for this phenylalanine can be utilized phenylalanine is utilized for biosynthesis of uh, cinnamic acid and its derivative uh, the first uh, step will be phenylalanine uh, will be subjected to loss of ammonia this amine group via phenylalanine ammonia lyase enzyme phenylalanine ammonia lyase enzyme this can be asked for one mark question phenylalanine ammonia lyase l y a s e lyase enzyme uh, this enzyme will be uh, removing this uh, amine and a hydrogen from here so that we will get a cinnamic acid from uh, uh, phenylalanine directly uh, second part uh, second route uh, for this uh, can be further or uh, from this cinnamic acid can be further hydroxylated cinnamic acid can be hydroxylated in presence of NADPH it undergoes hydroxylation at para position so we get para hydroxy uh, cinnamic acid or that we also call it as four fumaric acid or fumaric acid this can be also obtained from l tyrosine in presence of same phenylalanine ammonia lyase same enzyme that uh, has catalyzed the deamination uh, reaction from phenylalanine to cinnamic acid uh, that same uh, enzyme can catalyze deamination reaction from l tyrosine to or fumaric acid so both will be giving us uh, same type uh, same uh, reaction then uh, this uh, four fumaric acid can further undergo hydroxylation in presence of o2 and nadph we can write this as this way where we had an oh here and another oh will be coming over here a characteristic ortho hydroxylation for shikimic uh, pathway this will be giving us caprick acid this caprick acid can further react with sam we have already seen what is sam sam is s adenosine methionine as adenosyl methionine this is a very good methylating reagent methylating uh, reagent so it will provide a methyl group to this oh that we have newly added we have horizontally he likho that will be better because we need to further uh, bring down this uh, reaction further it will be oxidized in presence of same nadph 
NADPH and NADH are uh, reducing agents, so they will reduce this O2 to OH, and we will get another OH being added. Uh, this compound that we have got is ferulic acid. We have got ferulic acid. Then uh, from ferulic acid, another hydroxylation happens. Uh, this hydroxylated uh, compound undergoes again methylation in presence of sand. So we will get COH, here again OME, here OH, and here OME. Uh, this last compound that we get is a synapic acid. So we get pomeric acid, caffeic acid, ferulic acid, and synapic acid. Amongst them, this pomeric acid, ferulic acid, and synapic acid are further reduced. Uh, the hydro, uh, this carboxyl group is further reduced to primary alcohol. So this we get it after a reduction of uh, this COOH group. into CH2OH and here we have same OH so this becomes para pomeryl alcohol similarly ferulic acid also undergoes reduction to give coniferyl alcohol. To give coniferyl alcohol. Similarly, synapic acid will also undergo uh, reduction. from synapyl alcohol to form synapyl alcohol. So we get these three alcohols, paracomeryl alcohol, coniferyl alcohol and synapyl alcohol. These three alcohols can further polymerize or dimerize. The dimerization of these three alcohols uh, either amongst themselves or uh, along with the two, that is a pomeryl alcohol and a coniferyl alcohol can combine together or two molecules of coniferyl alcohol can combine together or coniferyl and synapyl can combine together. So in that way, if uh, there is a polymerization of these or uh, a dimerization. polymerization of the degree 2, that is, if there is a dimerization, then we call these compounds as lignane. If it is polymerized to n number of uh, this monomeric units, monomeric units like uh, pomeryl alcohol, coniferyl alcohol and synapyl alcohol are the monomer units for lignine. And uh, if uh, these are n number of uh, monomer units are being uh, taken together, then that will give rise to lignines. If it is just dimerizing, then it will give rise to lignines. So the cinnamic acid and its derivatives are being utilized for biosynthesis of lignines and lignines. <laughs>